I gotta say, every time that I hop on Horizon 3 for the first time in a while, this game never fails to put a smile on my face. Never! It's just still so good, so much fun. I mean, this game is what made this channel what it is today. And we're back on Horizon 3 because I have three things that I would love to see return in Forza Horizon 5 Mexico. And they're actually all things that are from Forza Horizon 3. Of course, we're going to start with the least significant idea. And we're going to end with the best and most significant idea. And the first one has to do with the skill shop that was basically in this game. We can call it the perk shop. And I think you all know what my favorite perk was, the pool rank perk! Let's you start in first place at the beginning of a race, and I have to say, just think about if we had this in Forza Horizon 4 for the trial. I mean, how nice would it be to just get that lead in the beginning, not have to deal with other AI, not have to deal with players that are bumping into you. I mean, it just would have made the game so much smoother. But we also have things like bounty drivatars. It took me forever to find this bounty drivatar. They don't pop up all too often, and this one is taking just weird routes all over the city here. But they are not unbalanced because they don't pop up all too often. But the thing is, when you do find them and challenge them, if you're able to beat them, which hopefully I will be able to beat this guy, you will get massive credits in about a one to two minute race. I mean, this race is one mile. Let's see if I can pull off the victory here. I think we're gonna have this one, and once we do, you're also gonna see that your difficulty can give you an even higher bonus. And again, this is just such a fun thing. I love doing head-to-head -head racing, and the fact that you can get so many credits from doing Bounty Dravatars is absolutely fantastic! And just like that, 60,000 credits in probably less than one minute. Now those are just two examples, two of my favorite perks from Forza Horizon 3, but ultimately what I'd love to see in Forza Horizon 5 Mexico is a general perk shop. A general skill shop, just like we had in this game with tons of other cool things. Now, car masteries for individual cars is a fantastic idea and should definitely stay, but having a general skill shop or perk shop on top of that I think would be an awesome idea to add into Forza Horizon 5 Mexico. But now that brings me to my second idea and my second point here, which is why did they take out this feature? I mean, look what you could do in Forza Horizon 3. Beep your horn, then all of a sudden you'll see that orange indicator on the mini-map. Look at that, we just created a convoy. And yes, the Dravatars, they could be annoying and they might hit into you, but for anybody that plays single player a lot or just doesn't really have a ton of friends that play Forza, it's a fantastic idea to be able to do these basically drivatar convoys and allow you to just cruise around the map with drivatars and they will literally follow you everywhere you go, maybe a little bit too closely sometimes. They'll beat back at you and then even though they'll usually veer off in the wrong direction, they'll catch up, don't worry. They just start spawning behind you, flying by you. It's honestly just such a cool feature and I don't understand why it was ever taken out. The other cool part about it is you can actually do a little convoy race. As you saw, it just started a little convoy challenge. And now you get to race all those drivatars that you invited into your convoy just by beeping your horn simply. And now again, we got to see if we can beat them all. So right now we got four guys we're racing against. By the way, the 918 Spider, a Forzathon exclusive car in Forza Horizon 3, still my favorite. There's a reason I got that beautiful canvas up above my head of the Porsche 918 Spider. Love this car to death still, love the sounds of it in this game in particular. Cannot wait to see what it'll sound like in Forza Horizon 5, but we got another dub, boys! It is also worth noting if you get sick of the Dravatars following you around, you can just hit the start button, go to the menus, and disband your convoy right there. Ah, what the heck, man? He got mad at me. And that brings me to my third and final idea to bring into Forza Horizon 5 Mexico again, and that is the Forza Horizon 3 style clubs. Now, Horizon 4 had clubs, and I think most of us realize that, but the thing is, the clubs were just not as relevant. They just weren't, and Horizon 5 looks to be headed in the same direction. Horizon 3's clubs were incorporated within the game, and it just provided you with such more of a joint experience with club members. You could actually work together to rank up tiers, unlock things like credit rewards, and it was all within the game where you could really look at it, see all the members easily, and work together though, and just you had incentive to work together and actually be a club versus I feel like in Horizon 4 nobody ever really cared about the clubs or paid attention. I know I didn't. I just really feel like it would keep players more connected and give them even more reason to want to play. I mean, if you can play with your best friends, 
players that you're always on horizon with and also unlock credits and maybe cars and different things like that why wouldn't you want to play i mean especially because that seems to be what they're going for with horizon 5 is everyone playing a line together all the time why would you not bring back a better version, a better system for clubs, especially because it's more easily accessible versus having to go to the Xbox clubs? Let me know what you think of these three ideas, and let me know if you have any other ideas that you have come up with. To be honest, I sat down and played Horizon 3 last night, and I just kind of noticed these things, and it gave me inspiration to make this video today. So, Horizon 3 is still a great game. Expect one more live stream before Forza Horizon 4 gets here so we can cruise around like we're doing right now. Look at all these drivers. I mean, I'm telling you, this is so much fun. I'm not going to do the convoy race right now, but just some little things that could make Forza Horizon 5 Mexico even greater than it probably already will be. We'll see what happens. Obviously, they can update things and always add things. So us, the community, they do listen to us. So if you have ideas, drop them down in the comment section. Do not forget to drop a like if you like the ideas I shared here in this video. And if you're new, please do not forget to subscribe because... You're going to want to be here for Forza Horizon 5 Mexico. We are so close. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have a fantastic day. I'm out of here. Peace.